my little dear P3s, here I am for English. I remember I've already handled a lesson so far. Let me hope you attended. If you are not able to attend the first lesson, please follow up. It will be a good idea if you follow up that lesson so that you can connect it to the second lesson. And I remember very well, I left the exercise with you and before I start off today's lesson, I want us to first go through that activity I left behind. Let me hope you were able to do the activity so that we can see where we went wrong and where we can correct ourselves. The first instruction was, pull out your books, open them, because I've already started. Underline verbs in these sentences. You, for you to underline the verbs, you must know what verbs are. And we said verbs are action words. Verbs are doing words. So we are going to identify those doing words or the action words within these sentences. The first sentence reads, I go to school daily, which is the action word. Which could be the doing word? The one that can instruct you to do an action. Could it be I or go? When somebody tells you to go, will you do an action? Will somebody see you doing an activity or performing an action? Definitely yes. So our action there is go. I expect you to be having a lula. You underline it. You go to the next one. Mommy feeds the baby. Mommy feeds the baby. Which is the action word here? The doing word. Mommy, can you mommy? Definitely no. That one is a noun. A name of a thing. Feeds. Can you feed someone or something? Yes, it's possible. So this is the action. Feeds. Hope that's what you underlined too. Third, good children listen to elders. Good children, what do you do? You listen. So listen is the action. We underline it neatly. Next, the farmer planted beans. What did the farmer do? Planted. So planted is the action. You underline it. You must have enjoyed this underlining. The next instruction reads, fill in suitable verbs in these sentences. What are you going to do? Fill in suitable action words. The doing words. As long as you see that it fits, it matches with the sentence given. The first sentence reads, the baby dash every day. What does the baby do? It can be cry. The baby cries every day. What else? The baby feeds every day. What else? Mention it. The baby crawls every day. What else? The baby laughs every day. So all those actions can be done by this baby. You also have yours that I've not mentioned. But if you see that it is suitable for that sentence, you put a tick. Good. The next one, our auntie dash food from the kitchen. What does she do? Could it be cook? Our auntie cooks food in the kitchen. What else? Our auntie prepares food from the kitchen. What else? <laughs> Our auntie peels food from the kitchen. What else? Think about it. Mention it. The lastly, doctors dash sick people. What do doctors do? Which action can be performed by doctors towards the sick people? How the uh, doctors treat. What else can they do? That one is my suitable. It's my best verb there. What do they do? Could it be care? Yeah. Doctors also do that. They care. 
you know very well what they do when you go to the hospital. They also inject. <laughs> I know many of you don't like that. Okay, this has been a review of the previous lesson. We are continuing with verbs, but we are yet to see many things under these action words, under the doing words. So welcome to the second lesson. Having seen the action words, the doing words, let's proceed and we look at tenses. Everybody say tenses. Tenses. Many of you don't know what tenses are. Don't worry. Just settle, pay attention, and follow what I'll be explaining to you or what I'll be telling you. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define a tense. You'll be able to construct sentences when you know that tense, that sentence is. So, we have to know what tenses are. So, a tense, this is what it is. A tense is a change, a change of, of what? A verb. Remember, a verb is an action word, a doing word. So, a tense is a change of that action word, the doing word, according. According to what? To time. So, what is a verb, everybody? Sorry, what is a tense, everybody? A tense is a change of a verb according to time. So, these action words, the doing words, change according to time. What you did differently, may, what you did yesterday may be different from the one you did today or you are planning to do today. So, time varies. We do things differently, I mean within different intervals or at different times. So under tenses, we need to know the blocks of tenses. We need to know these different tenses. So I shall call them blocks. Blocks of tenses. The first one is, ready? The first one is present tense. This is the first block, or this is how we are going to look at our change of verbs according to time. The second one is past. Past tense. And thirdly, future, future tense. So these are the tenses we are going to look at. We have present tense, we have past tense, and future tense. But these sentences, these tenses need time to be learned and I want my children to grasp everything so I'll begin by looking at one tense and that is none other than present tense within this present tense there are also other tenses under it I want to say this again. We are going to begin by looking at present tense. But under present tense, there are other tenses. There are other ways how we change the verbs according to time. So we are going to begin by looking at simple present 
things. Simple. Are we still together? So we are going to begin by looking at simple present tense. What is this simple present tense? Simple at the same time present. Okay. What does this refer to? Or in which tense? What do we talk about? So this tense talks about actions. Let me write it down. This tense talks about actions that do what? Ask yourself to that take place. When do they take place? Remember, we said a tense is a change of a verb according to time. And here we are. We are saying simple present tense talks about actions that take place. Take place when? Because I'm referring to time. That take place daily. It can be daily. When I talk about daily, that is every day every day so another word to mean every day is daily when i say she eats daily that means she eats every day what do you do daily i mean what do you do every day so this test talks about actions that take place daily that is the every day always Usually, it can be monthly, what else, annually, it can be sometimes, in other words, these actions take place They often take place. There are other words we can use to describe this action. But let's base on this. So, these actions take place daily. That is the every day. It can be every month, every Monday, every Sunday. It can be always, usually, monthly, weekly. Talk about weekly. All often. So think of those activities you always do. They are always being done. I believe there are certain activities that you always do. For example, you actually, you even drew timetable in your homes where every morning somebody has a certain activity to do every afternoon it can be evening it can be over the weekend there is a certain activity you do even this even today there are people who are tasked or who are reminded their work in their homes what you are supposed to do so under this tense there are certain things that we have to put into consideration. And I want you to clearly listen to me and very well. Trust me, at the end of the day, you'll be able to achieve. I'm going to remind you about different things that we do. Those action words. And we are going to see how best they change but if before i go into that i want you to remind you about pronouns 
those words that are used to replace a noun because there is where we are going to need them actually the pronouns and the nouns and we see how best we change our action words in this tense that is simple present tense those words that are used to replace a noun they are those ones in singular and they are those ones that are in plural form to start with plural form let me begin with singular to start with the singular form we have he if i don't want to say tom i can say he if i don't want to say sarah if i don't want to say mommy if i don't want to say ruth i can say she if i don't want to say cut if i don't want to say tree if i don't want to say to mention a name of an animal and other objects i'll say it these ones are singular pronouns but we also have nouns the naming words like mary this one is a name of a person it can be an animal and i say the dog these singular pronouns and singular nouns when it comes to simple present tense the verb changes i've said when it comes to simple present tense those actions we do daily or always the verb changes if we are looking at singular pronouns or singular nouns this is what i mean if my verb is tell me any action word mention any i know you have started mentioning cook run do go play all that if I have play. As my verb. Remember we have said the verb changes when it comes to singular pronouns and singular nouns. So play changes to plays. So here I will say he plays, she plays, it plays, Mary plays the dog plays the cat plays peter plays mommy plays and other verbs not only this the cat drinks what else the rabbit runs the man cuts the verb changes now i was saying now what about plural pronouns and pronouns what happens to them let's look at those plural pronouns we have we we have they we have you when it comes to you we take it to the plural pronouns but remember i can be referring to one person you or many so let's take it under the plural nouns under these pronouns we also consider i when you are referring to i you are referring when you mention i you are referring to yourself but this one is not under the singular it is taken to be plural this one is special my dear so you treat yourself in a special way so this one will be under the plural pronouns let's get other pronouns like like what the children it can be peter and paul it can be the the what the kittens Mm. Let's see what happens to the plural 
pronouns and the pronouns and our I when you are referring to yourself. What happens? There is this and there is also my kittens. Let them be united there. So when it comes to these ones, the verb doesn't change. It remains in its base form. Which verb can you think about? Here we had play. And we said play changes to plays. Which other verb? I don't want to use the same. Let me say it. I know many of you love eating. So this is our verb. And mention other verbs. It's okay. As I say it, include another verb. Mention another verb. So here, the verb doesn't change. It remains in its base form. So we shall say, we eat, they eat, you eat, I eat, the children eat, the kittens eat, the dogs bark. What else? My auntie, that one changes. My aunties cook. Our uncles drive what else mention many of them so i think you have got this principle singular the verb changes plural the verb remains in its base form hope you've grasped that should i continue i have a lot to tell you because i want us to look at those verbs how they change from the base form to this tense, that is simple present tense. Let's proceed. Here we are. Let's see how these verbs, these action words change to simple present tense, but not this. Oh, I want you to note this. Most verbs, those action words, change by adding S. Which letter? S in simple present tense. So you will find that most, oh, many of them just add S to change. I'm going to give you some examples. Hope you'll add on the list. Add on your list, please, because they are many. For example, I've already given you play. We had it. Let those be the first. There is play. When it is present, it is simple present tense, it will be plays. Which letter have I added on play to become plays? Letter S. I have it. It changes to it. Climb. I know many of you enjoy climbing trees when you go to the villages. So it will be climbs. There is, give me more jump how many of you enjoy jumping so if sarah does it you'll say sarah jumps sarah oh there is also skip my girls enjoy skipping so my friend there who normally does it i'll say my friend skips cook there is no way you can eat if you have not cooked fast or prepared so we shall say cooks my friends read their books on a daily basis some of you do it weekly maybe at the end of the week maybe you have your timetables you know how best you do your reading so i'll say peter reads I'll say my sister reads. They are very many. I cannot complete them. Think of others. Under these very verbs that add only S, we shouldn't forget those verbs that end in E. They are those verbs that end in E and they will always, oh, for them, they add S when it comes to simple present tense. For example, right.
Give me another verb that ends in A. We have change. Another one, drive. What else? What am I doing? Smiling. So smile is the best form. We have smile. Give me more. There are the verbs that end in A. We have move. It ends with letter E. We have back. We have use. We have dance. Do I have drive on my list? Yes. There it is. We have prune. And many others. Find out. I don't want to spoon feed you so much. Find out other action words that end in A. So if I have these verbs and I'm dealing with simple present tense and I'm referring to pronouns in singular or things in singular, I'll just add letter S. If I have right, it will be right. She writes her work neatly. If I have change, I'll say a chameleon changes its color. If I have drive, I'll say daddy drives us to school every morning. Smile. Miss Ruth smiles all the time. Move. Oh, my auntie moves to the shop every morning. Bake. Mommy bakes. Do your parents do the baking? So I'll say mommy bakes sweet or delicious cakes. Yes. I, Peter, it can be Marvin uses his pen, if it is a boy, I'll say his pen to write, dance. My little sister, like, my little sister dances for us all the time. Prune, the farmer prunes his crops when, during when, complete it. During the wet season, could it be? Yeah. So, you have seen how these verbs do change. And today we have dealt with those verbs that change by adding S. These are not only the verbs. I want you to identify more verbs that add only S in simple present tense. And take an initiative of constructing sentences using these verbs. And the words we identified that can help us to know that this action is in simple present tense. Like daily, always, every Monday, weekly, annually, often, sometimes, and many others. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson as I've enjoyed it too. Stay safe. I'm going to leave a simple task behind so that we can continue practicing you know with english the more we practice the more we become better eventually we shall become perfect and we shall be better at speaking and the same time writing hope we shall meet next time i love you so much take care